mystery god revealed to me how to get answered prayer right away divine revelation from god how to get all your prayers to be answered immediately by god's grace in today's video i wish to share with you a simple way you will follow and pray your prayers will get answer immediately believe me the purpose of prayers is for us to get answer not for us to just go and waste our time and then fulfill all righteousness that after all every day we're supposed to pray to god but prayer is actually two-way traffic you talk to god and god talk to you back in other words when you adore god because you say let it be an abomination unto him that he will not honor those that honor him so even if it is adoration singing that and worship that you give to god he is bound to honor you by doing something spectacular in your life and then if you release words in other words you make some petitions of what you need to god god is also obligated to answer you but when you pray prayers and you did not get answer believe me god is not to be blamed something else is behind it and by god's grace in today's video if you follow me to the end of today's video i will give you simple secrets that will make all your prayers to be answered once you pray aright and you will always have testimonies uh, but before then please give this video a thumbs up so that youtube and god reading we shift it to other people that need it as it is so may god bless you welcome back to Jenny action tv in this particular channel i discuss three important variables which actually help safety and spirituality in this channel we pray strategic prayers we believe that faith with your work is dead in other words we believe in balance in the sense that we pray strategic prayers we do spiritual work we believe in physical work because it's your physical work that god will bless and then you back it up spiritually and you get tremendous results and above all we believe in the supernatural power of god because actually even the bible made us understand the sanctity to do verse 11 once have god spoken to wise have we heard a power belonging to god so we understand that every power in heaven and on earth belongs to god and you have power to do all things so if one word or the other this is what you like if this is the very first time you're landing in this channel you are highly welcome please do well to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so that youtube will always notify you once i upload a new video for my returning subscribers i love you so much thank you for always stopping by for my new timers please always share the video comment on the video give thumbs up that is how we roll here so that other people will always get these videos as we do so may god surprise you so without wasting time let's delve right in now the secret of getting all your prayers to be answered is one faith <laughs> faith is the spiritual currency we used to obtain everything we want from spiritual realm to physical realm because everything you actually desire, you actually want, you are praying about is already existing spiritually. All you are trying to do is to bring it into your reality and begin to enjoy it because you know that the Bible made us to understand in Psalm 82 verses we are God's. All of us are children of Most High. Jesus also emphasized it in John 10, 34, that we are gods. And what is, who is a God? A God is one that has the capacity to do all things. An almighty God who breathed his energy at Garden of Eden to give us that status of a God actually created everything you are seeing in the entire universe out of nothing you say let there be light and there was light let there be this and there was this and that is how everything we see today then the planet that people are living in and the planet that people are not living in like like saturn like mars like jupiter and so on and so forth are all part and parcel of creation in fact some rich men like the monks and others Lomos and others are already planning to relocate to Mars because the earth is already congested. So this God that brought everything that we are seeing under this universe into existence out of nothing have breathed that energy, that capacity, that vibration, that strength in us that whatever we want, whatever we need, out of nothing, we can still bring it to existence. But it takes faith. If you don't have this understanding, if you don't have the faith 
that you can do it that you can make it that you can unless you change your, your confession to i can in everything it is possible i am and not confessing negative you will surely get everything you are praying for in other words before you even start praying you have made up your mind that i i, I know i trust the god i'm praying to that this thing that i'm asking he's covenant to answer me and that is why i trust this god and even if it is worship i'm going to worship him praises i'm singing unto him he already knows what i need more than i do and he is capable that that same grace that god used in order to bring everything that is not existing into existence that that same grace will also god use to give me what i'm looking for sometimes when i'm praying a prayer I just have this belief that even if there is no human being, maybe I needed a destiny helper in something to give me this, that God will send an angel to do it. Because of that strong faith, you will surely get what you want. Another thing is righteousness. We will never, never remove this out of equation. Righteousness is simply doing things right obeying god and so on and so forth of course you will not go to make unrighteous requests unrighteous prayers and expect god to answer you it doesn't work that way he is of a purer eye that he cannot behold iniquity and he said that his hand is not shortened that he cannot deliver neither is he a deaf that to hear a prayer that is only sin that separates us from him and so for example you will not go to god and say oh god help me i want to do this yahoo business i want to dupe this person to get money let it be successful that he will not discover me god will not answer such prayers so once your prayer is according to the will of god once you pray in line with the right thing and not praying for evil you god is covenant to answer you once you are purged with the blood of the lamb in other words you have asked god for forgiveness of anything you have done that will hinder god from answering you believe me you will surely get an answer another one is don't always go to god with mindset of lack always use opportunity of your prayers to appreciate god for one thing he has done then you will now ask for another that even if you are coming to god to ask for money but you don't even have shishi you don't have any dime appreciate god for life they say to him that is joy to the living there is hope for a living dog is better than a dead lion. If you are not alive, you will not be there to start asking God for anything. You, you know, do you know that the highest power you have is life? When your life is taken, you have nothing. That is why once somebody dies, the first thing that will depart from that person is the power of breath and power of speech. The person cannot breathe again. The person cannot speak again. How will the person even pray to God again? How will the mind communicate again? Because one of the powerful way of prayers is not about even speaking audibly because God we are praying to is a spirit and he hears us even from our mind. So sometimes you are obligated to even pray from your mind. That is how even deaf and dumb people also pray. And then for that life alone you have is enough to appreciate God. Now when you come to God full of appreciation, we full of faith, come to him with a clean hands. In other words, yeah, there is no sin in your life. Even if there is sin, you ask for forgiveness. That is the essence of asking for forgiveness that God will cleanse, purge, and sanctify you because before making your request. And that is how we also we want to do spiritual work. We do spiritual cleansing in order to remove all our errors spiritually so that whatever request we are making, we get it immediately. So you now cleanse yourself by asking. That word, ask, it shall be given unto you. The sick will find, knock the door will open. You ask for forgiveness. You ask for cleansing. You ask for purging. Because we are mere mortal men that one way or the other, we might have sinned against God. We are not as strong as God and we are not perfect. We become perfect when we get to heaven. So this is one reason why you ask for forgiveness in case there are one error or the other. Once you, there is no sin in your life, you have faith and then you appreciate God for what you have. You have 
God is covenanted to give you the next thing you are asking. Another thing is, Bible record that heaven and earth might pass away, but his word will not. You need to connect whatever, whatever you are praying about with the word of God. Once you hit it, hit that particular issue with the word of God, he is covenanted to answer you. In other words, once you dictate the problem, the intention that you are using to come and make prayer, try to find the exact word that connects that particular problem. Let's assume that you are praying to God to send you money, that you need destiny helpers that will give you money. Once you get Philippians 4 verse 19 and say, Oh God, the creator of the universe, you are the one that said in Philippians 4 verse 19 that you will supply all my needs according to your riches in Christ Jesus. You now say that, Oh God, I know that you are capable, I trust you, and this particular money I need for social so thing, for to buy a new car, to start a new business, to pay my children's school fees, to pay house rent, to marry my wife, and so on and so forth, I know you can supply, I know you will supply, I know you have supplied, and that is why I've come to you according to Philippians 4 verse 19, do it for me. He is convenented to do it for you. You can even read the most powerful part of the Bible, which is which is Psalm, Psalm 23. The Lord, verse 1, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You are my shepherd, O God. Therefore, I don't need to lack anything. That this is what I am lacking now. Oh God, send it to me. I thank you. I believe you have given me. You will surely get it. Because what are you doing when you are connecting the word of God? If you go to the book of John chapter 1, for clarity's sake, let me read John chapter 1. If you are finding value up to now, please why not subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed. Give thumbs up to this video so that more people will get it. God bless you as we go ahead in this video. John chapter 1 from 1 to 7. In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. That was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to be a witness for the light. All the men through him might believe. John came to be a witness that right from the beginning that, that this world was. In other words, the world that is being talked about is Jesus Christ. He has been there from the beginning when man was created before he ever come due to deficiency of man due to deviation of man from ordinances before he ever come to come and die to reconcile man with god he has been there from the beginning and this jesus is our high priest of salvation who is always in the right hand of God interceding for us now whenever you connect the word because Bible records here in the beginning was this word and the word was God and the word was with God and this word is actually Jesus so whenever you are praying and connecting the word of God what we are doing is that you are entering into covenant with Jesus Christ that he should intercede for you in heaven in order for whatever you are asking to be released unto you and that is why you must not joke with connecting the word of God because the word of God brings the divinity into humanity and release the help you need so you are like entering into alignment with Jesus that he should intercede before the heavenly father in heaven since he is the high priest of our calling our salvation and that as he intercede God have no choice because he has lifted Jesus as a name above all names that at his name every name must be at his name every prayer must be answered at his name we must get what we want so what am I saying once you follow the, this step one word or the other you are coming to God with faith 
believing that he's capable, he is able, he will do it, and you ask for forgiveness and you are right, making sure that there is no spot or lincoln in your life that will hinder you from getting what you want. You appreciate him for the previous blessing he has done. The next thing you hit him with exact word of God that relates to that particular intention you have. You are, by doing so, you are bring Jesus to intercede for you in heaven over what you are asking for. And God has no choice but to release the answer to your prayers. And in conclusion, you still thank God again that you have already received, even when you are yet to get, because let's see Hebrew and know what Bible has spoken about faith. And that will give you conviction that you know what they are saying. Because Hebrew 11 says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That is faith is... You are hoping already that something you are asking for, you have already gotten it. That you have this evidence, conviction in you that you have already gotten it. And that is why, why when you are summarizing your prayer, your act of showing appreciation that you have already received that in is actually manifesting faith. Because even the Bible said that whatever that is not done in faith is actually sin. In other words, going to pray and you don't have faith, it simply means that you are committing sin. And nobody wants to commit sin in the place of prayer so all you need to do is thank god because you have received and believe me it won't take time you will see manifestation you will see performance of whatever you have actually asked go and start trying and re-strategizing re your prayers like this you will begin to see that virtually every prayer you pray receive answer and even if there is a reason why it should not be answered the vision will be clear to you god will make it plain to you and you will understand and know that he is god and he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him so with this i've actually come to the end of today's video believing that somebody has actually found value if you're one of those why not give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so hit the bell notification so as to get my next upload comment on this video share this video and share it to everyone my child be helping a lot of people as to do so may god bless you i know it costs you to ride up on the high place of this is still your lady jenny saying bye bye